in this video I will show you the world in which I learned how to negotiate how to prevent and solve conflict and how to lead so this video was uh, filmed uh, just to show you a glance of uh, one of my skills which uh, I would never put in my CV without good reason behind every skill there is always a story like this it's beautiful day in my neighborhood just wanted to show you the beauty of my neighborhood you know, these two guys uh, they are brothers they were brothers who were killed by another gang it's as I said nice day but uh, in the evening you know at this spot a lot of drug users dealers and stuff like that they, they are sitting around police cannot or doesn't want to check on them it's huge neighborhood a lot of people lives here nobody knows exactly how many but let's go to our main topic today only a few months ago in this uh, location there was shootout between a few gangsters and uh, there were some injured people and also this is the place uh, where i started learning about diplomacy practical diplomacy negotiation mediation and stuff like that when i was uh, much much younger you know you had to survive somehow in this place uh, people will respect you but only if you deserve and you earn that respect so somehow i managed to earn that respect and here was a street cafe where the gangs were solving their disputes by arms very often they threw hand grenades and uh, they were shooting at each other the authorities decided to remove it but behind you can see casino and that uh, new cafe where another shooting took place recently so this is where i learned how uh, negotiations and uh, and diplomacy are important and i learned it when i was very very young later on i just uh, certified my knowledge it wasn't difficult to certify something that you learned when you were growing back in 2018 two police officers were killed by still unknown perpetrators they were found in their vehicle at the edge of my neighborhood with uh, the walls of their vehicle from AK-47 investigation is still ongoing and uh, I don't know details how far the investigation has gone but uh, you know there is no justice yet what can I say uh, my friendly advice to Ukrainian authorities who are currently in the war 
They are defending themselves uh, from uh, Russian aggressor. Uh, think about uh, illegal weapons, which will in large amounts remain in possession of uh, civilians, of course, illegally. And uh, it can be used for various uh, kinds of uh, crime. After 30 years from brutal war in Bosnia, we still have a lot of uh, armed uh, civilians and many of them are notorious criminals. So they should uh, think before the end of the war how to, how to confiscate the weapons and prevent uh, crimes like this. And yes, we have a big mosque constructed by donation of uh, Saudi king immediately after the war. It's one of the largest mosques in Sarajevo. And yes, we have also a church. And it's beautiful Franciscan Catholic church. And people protected this church during the war. When I mentioned uh, the war, behind these buildings, Serbian nationalists, separatists, they, they were shelling my neighborhood. Even today, nearly 30 years after the war, you can see many signs of shelling. This is mortar shell. You see the rose. For your information, when you are in Sarajevo, and if you see such uh, uh, rose filled with uh, red clay, whatever, then that means uh, at that position, at that place, uh, mortar shell killed some people. You see one more and one more. We deliberately don't want to fix this. You know, it's kind of reminder for us. Here you can see a monument to uh, killed neighbors from our neighborhood. Their names are on these plaques. Too bad they could have their families and I could be one of them, but I was lucky, I guess I was lucky to survive. In the past few decades, we don't have any leaders. We actually have the leadership by bureaucracy and Part of that bureaucracy are hiring managers who have no idea what CV they have in hands and what they are reading. Behind every skill, there is always some story. See you.